what you are looking at, look at this. This, this is what we call 750B for B-Van. How are you everybody? Steve DeVal from Thor Motor Coach. Very excited to be with you today to introduce our brand new Talaro B-Van. And this is where they are made. We're looking down the line. We're not gonna show you how they're made today, but if you would like to take factory tour, you can head over to thormotorcoach.com. All that information is there for you. What we are gonna do today is walk you through the brand new Talaro B-Van. And, and what's exciting is we were only planning on doing one. We all let you walk out, Tom, I gotta shut this door. We're only gonna do the uh, AT with the pop top, but minutes ago, the LT rolled offline. So what we are gonna do is head on over to the Talaro 20 AT and join our good friend, Mitch Johnson. The last time you saw Mitch and we opened the door, he got zapped by a dinosaur. You have amazing recovery powers, my friend. You know what, it's working at Thor Motor Coach. Keeps, keeps me young. Well, thank you very much for uh, taking your time. I know you got a lot of stuff going on with the Talaro product launch, but I guess one of the things that I want to talk about first is you and I talked to the, about Talara and specifically this, the AT, when we were at Open House in September. Mm -hmm. And what we did is we listened to you, we listened to the dealers, and we took your suggestions and your advice and we brought it back and you and your team really just gutted it and mm -hmm. started from scratch. So kind of walk us through that whole process from mm -hmm. where we were in September to where we are right now. Mm -hmm. So when we came out with the product uh, in September at the Open House, we were taking notes every right. single time somebody made a comment, whether it was a dealer, one of you guys watching live, and, and we kind of put it in uh, on a list. And we said, "Look, we have a lot of people right. asking for these changes, these updates, you know, things that we can still tweak at this point in the process, mm -hmm. um, as far as launching it goes." And um, and this is kind of what we came up with. So there there were a couple big things that we wanted to change, and then there were a couple little things that we'll point out as we go around. Um, so well, one of the little to, things I'll start. Ahead. I mean, one of the big things people are asking for. That's just a forklift. We are at the factory, folks. You're going to see forklifts and trucks, and we're out here, so you're going to see Class A's and C's and B's, and right behind us there, those are all getting ready to be built into an amazing B-Van product. So this was one of the little things. People said, hey, I want a uh, rear window with some ventilation. We, uh, we had a lot of customers, you know, uh, looking at this video, saying, right. hey, you know what? On this particular floor plan, something that would be really important to us is cross-ventilation right. while we're sleeping. Because mm -hmm. you're not always going to run, a, no. run your uh, air conditioner, and, you know, if it's a nice night. So we were, we, we were able to actually get the, the same style windows mm -hmm. that, allow, that allow for a, a big open window with a screen across the front um, on, the, on the rear piece of glass. Now, what a lot of people don't really realize is right. that's not something you just buy off the shelf. There's no. some engineering resources mm -hmm. that go into this, and that was kind of a push, but we were able to make it happen for the customers. Which is great. Mm -hmm. So as we walk around, and as it is a crisp day, okay. uh, one of the things, the questions that we get asked a lot on social media that you want to know, especially if you were to take your Talaro mm -hmm. out, is it a four-season vehicle? Could you go camping? Uh, you, you load your skis up back, and away you go. Yeah. So you know, when it comes to four seasons, mm -hmm. you know, we have dealerships everywhere. Is it four seasons in Alaska? Or is it four seasons in right. Florida? Right. So you really got to talk about yeah. where you're going. Uh, exactly. Yeah. Um, you know, as, as far as four seasons are concerned, we do use heat pads. Mm -hmm. uh, they come standard on on all the heat on all the tanks. Any of the plumbing that we actually have to route outside the vehicle, it's not just exposed to the elements. Right. We actually we came up with something uh, here after looking at some competitors' product. Um, that kind of gave us uh, a Take unique one step up, up we have a car so coming. Run over. There we go. <laughs> Come on. Live at the factory. Yeah. Um, you know, we actually have a heater coil that goes that runs with any lines that are going to be outside the coach. So when it is colder, when it is sub zero, or when it is uh, below freezing, uh, we want to make sure that you can still camp and still have water. Now that being said, use your best judgment. If it's right. going to be negative twenty, you know, the best part about an RV is it has wheels. You can always go right. Slow. So um, now as far as ins insulation goes, because we do get that question a lot, mm -hmm. we do insulate the entire vehicle. Um, some of it's going to be uh, kind of that um, almost space station foil insulation, you know, in the tighter mm -hmm. spots, um, which actually is a, a something that I don't, I'm not sure if anybody else is doing, but that's what's going to be on your roof, underneath your floor. Mm -hmm. And then we use regular insulation inside your sidewalls. The other thing is the, the well-formed uh, uh, side panels, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to offer a little bit of extra protection as well because they are a little bit thicker. They are made out of a fabric material, so that's going to help out with that. All right, and, and we want to go around the rear. Let's go yeah. around the back. Absolutely. Ooh, look, there's a sequence pulling, sequence out, pulling of the, out right out of the factory. Factory, factory fresh. <laughs> factory factory fresh. fresh. Beat you to it. All right, Mitch, take us around here. 
<laughs> All right, oh, we so got uh, Ryan watching. He's excited to see the changes with the Talara. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks, and Nathan, Ryan. your uh, friends over at Signature uh, RV watching. Oh, right now hey, as well. it's a perfect. We're global. You're going global. <laughs> but we're worldwide. <laughs> yeah. All right, so. Um, some of the things are, mm -hmm. that the customers were telling us is we got to keep the Thule accessories. Yeah. Uh, one thing we kind of walked past is we still have the, the Thule awning on the top. Mm -hmm. um, you'll notice because it, this one is a pop top, we actually have to mount it a little bit differently. Okay. So there's a little bit of a challenge with that. Um, and then also the Thule bike rack in the rear. Um, another thing that a lot of customers really wanted to see, and we have it installed right here. Mm -hmm. oh, and we have a couple right. semis coming. Well, we can you want to let this? Okay. All right. We just will wait until they pass. All right. One of the things that we didn't have at Open House mm -hmm. um, was actually the rear screen. It has always been standard, but that's just something that we didn't show you guys. You'll notice it does cover up the entire rear. Uh -huh. The way Magnetic. it attaches to the sides is that there's actually little hooks and bungees. And then um, little so, metal clamps at the top that you kind of swivel, which are really nice too. Correct. And then also this is just magnetic right here. Right. So you can break in, break <laughs> out, <laughs> break, in, break, <laughs> break in, break out. Um, but uh, while we're at this angle, I'll just show you kind of how easy it is to oh. twist these little clips and drop it down. Just like that. And yep. then you can kind of fold it up and store it away. Kind of like putting the bug nuts up on your you patio. Those bottom home. ones? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the easiest way to install this is to take the center right where the magnet or right where the magnets are and start up right here and then okay. work your way down the sides and, and attach everything around. So yep. we can attach that when we're done. But this well, is here. a neat bedding area and you've completely yeah. redesigned this too since open house. Oh, abs new, uh, absolutely. <laughs> um, so we had a, a lot of customers say, yeah. you know what, I, I love the ability to to have to be able to store long things down the center of my coach, right. you know, whether it be skis, right. you know, a kayak, but really you have the entire length of the coach to store things. Right. But the only cumbersome part was kind of the uh, the bed that originally flipped right. up. Um, you know, we had a, a hook that we actually clamped mm -hmm. on right here, and it was just kind of always there. <coughs> um, so we had a lot of customer feedback saying, can you guys get a little right. creative with that? And you um, did. And we did. So if you'll notice now, uh, we it's not just two twin beds. Okay. This whole thing picks up, slides out, and then locks right onto this other side. And then you just have two cushions. And you have a full that go right side down sleeping area like that. So that's really a neat, a neat idea, and you still have a lot of storage underneath. Mm -hmm. We have storage back here. We have our 30 amp shore power, the little yep. uh, hose back there, USB ports, 110, your water pump, a vent, and blackout shades. And then your nighttime blackout yeah. shades. Now, you uh, just take a look here at the, the amount of vent cross ventilation. Once mm -hmm. again, this is something that you guys asked for. Right. There's big opening windows on either side. And then once again, when you open those, there are uh, screens that cover that up as well. So you do have a screen over your window, and then you also, or when it's open, then you also have the blackout shades. Another thing you guys may have noticed is if you take a look yeah, up the top the cabin here, has oh, completely, yeah. I mean, it's completely different. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so we had a lot of a mm -hmm. lot of few customers asking, hey, we really like that, um, that, that cabinetry that you guys are bringing in from overseas. What right. would it look like in this coach? Yeah. So keeping with the same color scheme, you know, a little bit more modern, kind right. of a, this a is lighter modern interior. white, by the way. Yep, modern white. That's what the, <laughs> hey, that's what the color code is. Um, you know, what would that look like inside this coach? Right. So here it is. Uh, we, we designed it uh, with the soft close hinges. Yep, soft like. close hinges, um, curved front cabinetry. Yeah. If you notice, if you remember before, it actually had a kind of a flat right. panel cabinetry. Um, the high gloss was something that a lot of customers mm -hmm. were asking for. Uh, this stuff actually cleans up really, really easy. It's pretty durable. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's something that a customer that the customers are really asking for. Here, we can close this up. Yeah, we'll close this up. Too. We'll come in where it's a little. Where it's a very uh, oh, we, brisk we, day out here. The sun is out. We can finish uh, up on the outside. Yeah, don't uh, don't let it fool you. It's actually pretty. So we have piles mm -hmm. of snow. We had quite a bit of snow actually uh, the, not too long ago. The other thing is is. Um, when it came to this bed mechanism, we had to get just a little creative, yeah. uh, just because there is an access to some of your uh, some of your uh, water tanks okay. and things like that up there. So, like I said, that's just something that um, an extra challenge that we were right. presented with. So, all right, come on down. All right, there's the hook for the magnetic ladder. If you guys remember the ladder race champion of Fontana 2019, he right destroyed here. me. <laughs> with his ladder skill. He is an Eagle Scout, by the way. I just thought I would mention that. He is <laughs> an Eagle it. Scout, and he has his ladder merit badge, which is actually very challenging to get, <laughs> especially since it's not real. Exactly. <laughs> All oh, right, no. take us through the, this has got the cassette toilet, and this is something else that I know a lot of people have uh, asked about. Yeah, so, um, you know, a cassette toilet is something that you're gonna see a lot. Uh, I think a lot more uh, coaches coming out. Um, you're gonna see more and more of. What's the beauty of a cassette toilet is when you're camping, and say you're in a more of a remote location, you're not always right next to a dump station. 
Um, so what this allows you to do is uh, take out, basically, it's kind of like a little roller suitcase. Right. It's locked right now, but a little roller suitcase. Actually, I think I unlocked it. Oh, Tom did you? and I were in here oh. the other day. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Right there. And what is, there's a, there's a, oh, there it is. It's down below. All right. Just like that. Here's, here's your, uh, cassette. <laughs> the, the, this is your black tank. Um, you know, it's actually kind of a cool operation. Mm -hmm. This this hose opens up, and you press the button, and everything comes out. Right. You can dump it out in, a, in just a regular toilet. Um, if you're, you know, primitive camping, mm -hmm. you can go dig a hole in the woods. Mm -hmm. uh, but it gives you a, just kind of a few more options as far as where you can camp. Um, you know, I've, I've even heard of in, in other countries that they they have whole stations that you can actually put this in and you know pay a euro or two, and then it cleans and sanitizes. Oh, that's kind of pretty cool. Nice. And then you so, just pop it right back in there, and. Yep. Away you go. Just Lock like it up. That. Oh, there you go. All right. And um, a couple other things. You might notice we still have our gravity fill on here. Yep. That was something a lot of customers mm -hmm. like to see. Um, that's one of those things, once again, if you're uh, kind of primitive camping, you might not always have a hose. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually just take uh, jugs of water and fill them up, uh, fill up your fresh water tank. Um, you still have your city fill. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> one thing is uh, customers ask us to move this light. You remember before? It was in the back. It was kind of back right. here in the back, very similar to what we have so on the L. It's yep. More so, over. Yep. So now we located it more tank. where there's a, a few more things on the coach, so you can see that, uh, or so you can see that at night. Um, coming across, we still have the satellite hookup, mm -hmm. and you still have your 30 amp. So, and then also your Truma combi system, which we'll talk about. We'll talk the, about on the inside. Yep. Which is where you happen to uh, make a starring guest role. All right. <laughs> I will uh, swing around. You want to stand over? You tell you what. Where are you standing? We want it, what? I'll come in. You yeah. sure? Okay. I'll shut the back. All right. Okay. Tom, I'll let you get in. Watch your step. And away we go. And I'm just going to shut this. We can warm up a little bit. Yeah. Um, one thing I wanted to point yeah. out, uh, while we were on the other side, there's a lot of customers like the fact that we had that um, auto, or not the auto start, the... Uh, the emergency start. Right. Once again, you're not going to see that on all the mm -hmm. B vans. <coughs> One of the benefits of, you know, building class C's and A's for so long is that mm -hmm. sort of stuff, that right. kind of traditional things you'd see in a motorhome, we still translate over in, into our B van. Yeah, just for the trickle down. One yep. of the things is Tom is showing uh, the dash there that we get a lot of questions on, and I'll answer this the best that I can because it's always kind of hard to gauge. Was people are asking what you know, are what are your miles per gallon? Mm -hmm. And when we were out uh, in Salt Lake uh, with the sequence, and we were doing the prototype of that uh, in March, mm -hmm. we were doing about 15, and that's up and down the mountains and ski lodges. So mm -hmm. it, it depends on a number of factors: your your elevation, your speed. Yeah, have a heavy foot. So. Uh, that's that's what we did out in Salt mm -hmm. Lake. So uh, a lot of great other accessories yeah. up here with the, uh, the we upgraded the Pioneer head unit, which I really like. Yeah, so that's going to uh, give you uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You just plug in your phone, and uh, if anybody who's used that, um, you know, I don't think I, I know of anybody who's used it and said, oh, it's it's terrible. <laughs> it's, oh, no, I it's, love it. It's Android something Auto. that, you know, um, everybody here at the, the factory is definitely really excited about. Um, don't forget, we also upgrade all the speakers on the inside of the, of the whole front mm -hmm. cab area. Um, to, to those JBL speakers. That way you get a, a better sound right. quality in the front of your car. Because once again, we did, we designed these, co I just called it a car, not a motorhome. <laughs> you know, you know, we, we designed these to be driven, you know, and to, to, to be enjoyable while you drive. Um, because this is the type of person that's going to be, you know, kind of bouncing around and, and moving every day. So we wanted to make it so it's those long journeys are as comfortable as possible. Yeah, there, and I like it, and I'm trying to find it here, and I mm -hmm. haven't done a walkthrough on this, and you may know better. I like how you wired this into the OBD port as yep. well, which I think is a really neat exactly. function. Exactly. So, so it kind of gives you real-time information about yeah. your vehicle while you're driving. Once again, we designed this to be a, a, a driving vehicle, mm -hmm. something that you know is similar to when you, what you would get in a, a high-end car. So right. it'll tell you what's your uh, um, you know, RPMs. It'll tell mm -hmm. you the, the tire pressure, all that sort of stuff. Um, all right, but yeah, here, Tom, I'm going to shot down here. You can see we changed out all mm -hmm. this cabinetry. Um, step inside here. So step actually, inside the change. wet bath, which shows you just how much room you have in there. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, uh, concerning the wet bath, yeah. one thing you might notice uh, is we did change the sink around a little bit, too. Okay. So this actually comes down, you notice it's actually a shorter sink. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of that feedback that we got was, hey, there's a, a little bit of extra length here on the original one, and it made it a little bit tighter when you were sitting in here. So now it actually doesn't go in, in front of the kind of where the toilet would be. This comes around. Mm -hmm. That's going to be your main sink. Um, and then here's your shower head up here. 
So the other thing you guys may notice is this door opens quite a bit bigger mm -hmm. um, than than the one that we saw. Yeah, at open I know you house. changed that, and, yep. and I. I know they're in one of the, uh, back by your office, there's one sitting there, and I was like, what? Oh, the timbre doors? Yeah, I'm like, what yeah. is that? What is, and then I realized, oh, yeah, that's the new, uh, that's the new D-Van door. So the, we have, the next uh, video people are going to want is, what does Mitch's office look like? Yeah. We have a lot of prototype parts and pieces. So this door does open up a couple inches more, mm -hmm. so that way it's easier to get in and out. So. We try to maximize the storage space, and you got a, a hanging closet in there, you have all the cabinets yep. above, you have the cabinets below. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and it's not just all about storage. No. Um, I don't know if Tom wants to back up just a little bit. Uh, you'll notice that we do have a large cabinet door right here. Oh, um, when we talk about, uh, you know, designing a coach, we do like to design floor plans and coaches with customers in right. mind as far as how easy something is to, mm -hmm. to use. Um, in, 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 in this case, kind of winterized. If you actually open this up, you'll notice there's a lot of, uh, this is where the majority of your plumbing is going to be. You're actually, your Truma system is going to be um, underneath this seat right here. So, that's something else uh, to talk about. How uh, and there's a whole video on how that works. But as we were talking mm -hmm. about uh, the the winter driving with the Truma, you got to keep that thing on and running because mm -hmm. that will freeze up and that would be bad news. Mm -hmm. You know, when, whenever I I get that, we get that question all a lot, the time, <laughs> not just me. Um, you know, when it comes to to camping when it's mm -hmm. colder, and this is once again a perfect setting for right. that. You know, when you're using the coach, I mean, it's a it's a warm temperature in, mm -hmm. in here right now. Oh, you don't yeah. have to worry about your fresh tanks. You don't have to worry about any of that. Mm -hmm. When you have your your heated tanks on, um, you know that's that's going to mitigate a lot of that coldness that happens down there. But as soon as we leave this vehicle, right. okay, as long as, as if we shut all the heat off, it's basically kind of like a big cooler. Yeah. I mean, you have the insulation, you know, it will eventually get that temperature inside. So always be conscious of that sort of stuff. Uh, we have a question so, from Andrew coming in right now. It says, "Do the windows have day shade still?" That was a great feature in the video in September. They do not. No, we ended up uh, just going night shades all the way okay. down. Uh, but no, they're not. I know what you're talking about, the ones that came up. Those day shades were more supposed to be uh, for screens mm -hmm. uh, or more of a screen as opposed to a shade. Um, and when we went to these opening windows, they had screens already built in. But that's gotcha. a very good question. Okay. That was the reason for that. All right. And so take us through the yep. rest of the kitchen here. Coming back here, you still have your two burner stove. Um, and then you also have uh, your, your all electric fridge right here. This is going to be a Nova Cool, something that um, is going to look pretty reminiscent mm -hmm. of some other floor plans that we have. Um, we did. Uh, we do are going to all stainless on the front mm -hmm. um, for for actually all of our product or all of our uh, B van floor plans just to keep the uh, keep the look as it goes down the coach. So keep that kind of modern look. And so. we also have the uh, oh. BM Pro. We yeah. have the Rapid Camp Plus system, which uh, has your yeah. Auto Gen Start. It's got uh, and, and, and yep. one things I guess. Well, Auto Gen Start is here, just kind of top of mind. Mm -hmm. An option you can get on the Talaro that we don't have out here right now is a lithium-ion battery system. Yep, we call it the Reliable System, mm -hmm. so LI, lithium, kind of cool. Um, that's going to come with two 5,500-watt mm -hmm. uh, uh, power banks. Uh, we're not calling them batteries because they're truly right. power banks, um, and that's going to be completely re replace your generator. Uh, but we also do put a second alternator on the bottom mm -hmm. or on the front of the coach, tie that into the uh, kind of tie that into the chassis. And if those battery banks ever get below 30%, it'll automatically you can auto you can set it so it automatically starts your vehicle and it brings those back up to 80. Now they can go over 80, right. obviously it charges while you drive. So and something else we haven't even mentioned on the inside, Tom is right below it. Pop top, pop top. Um, that, that's one of those features that. Um, absolutely everybody had to have on this floor yeah. plan. Um, you know, I don't think we, when we took orders, because this is an optional pop right. top, you can get this floor plan without the pop top, but there are, those are kind of few and far mm -hmm. between. People seem to love this. Mm -hmm. So um, on top of this pop top, you might notice we have a, a skylight right above yep. you. So, you know, it, it really kind of gives you that, that sense of sleeping under the stars. Uh, without actually, you know, getting getting wet from the dew. And you have a nice, uh, you, you redesigned the ladder, which is a nice little storage space here, yep. so you climb right up and in. Absolutely. That's what we were just, uh, we removed the ladder just so we could all fit in here, but we were actually climbing mm -hmm. up there, I don't know, 10 minutes ago, yeah. um, you know, popping the top up. It does, when you when you pull it mm -hmm. down, um, you can lock it into place mm -hmm. so you don't have to worry about it flipping right. up while you're driving. Please lock it into place while you're driving. Oh, my gosh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And it's, I guess that's one thing that, you know, people think, okay, it's a B-Van, and mm -hmm. it's going to be, you don't have slides, and it's small and tight inside. I, I'll tell you right now, you have three grown men, mm -hmm. all around six foot tall. One of them has a massive camera rig set up <laughs> here, and so we're all in here, and we're all standing around, and we're all comfortable, and there'll be plenty of space for us to sit if we needed to. So it's absolutely. not like you're going to get into this thing and be completely cramped for mm -hmm. space. And one of my favorite things about this particular floor plan is it allows you to use the driver and passenger right. seat 
as additional seating area. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. open the door and step out of your way, Tom, and yeah. then open the door and throw off your lighting, just you know, yeah, just, 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 for just for fun. So you can actually you can actually flip the driver's seat yeah. around, um, and then it, it brings turns around for the table over here, yeah, which for, folds down. Yeah, which folds down to even a little yeah. bit bigger than it is right yeah. now. But um, you can leave it. Um, you have to pull the things out on the bottom. I just leave it. Yeah, and then these. Yep, come out. those come out for yep. the for the additional support. And then away you go. Yep, um, but you can that. actually double that. The there other one has the dog dish in it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and the other thing that we will discover later on, because it is wet and muddy out here, is how fast and easy this floor cleans off. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, these, these just rolled off ship row, and yeah. they're, they're they're like, well, are you gonna clean them? Yeah, we'll. Yeah, see we, will, <laughs> no, we will. We will clean them. We'll we'll clean them. So um, I'll let this FedEx get around here. Let me stand on the. Uh, Running board. Okay, there we go. And you want to take a quick look at the LT? If there's some uh, features on the other side here, unless there's anything else inside of here that she'd like to show us. Um, just one thing to point out yeah. is, is on this BM Pro system. Yeah. I know you guys have talked about it before. This is a uh, an Android system, uh, or not an Android. Uh, yeah, Android. It system. is. Android. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this is actually just a touch screen panel. Yeah, it's, it's a little it's tablet. It's, it's like a little tablet. Um, one thing I always, always, you know, can't really stress enough is when you turn your battery disconnect on, mm -hmm. so say you're coming into the coach at night, it's going to take a second for any Android system to boot up. So instead of standing here in the dark, one thing that we really want to do is give the customers a right. way to, to, you know, run through some of the functions. Um, and here we have hard buttoned uh, lights. So those actually turn off the lights. You can see they'll uh, turn everything on and off. And then you can also, you know, extend and contract right. your, your awning um, or uh, or actually a couple other functions through here as well. Yeah, just about anything so, you want from there. Yeah, and, and like I said, without even having to wait right. for that to boot up. Oh, so that's something you could do right away. Oh, uh, yeah. You have solar yeah. as well. You're equipped with solar. Yeah, and that's another thing on a pop top, you know, that takes up a lot of real estate right. on your roof. Uh, we had to get a little creative on, yeah. on our solar panels. So we actually, instead of having one 190 watt solar panel, we have two 110. Nice. So you actually get 220 watts when you get the pop top off of okay. those flexible solar panels that sit on the top of the pop top um, and that comes once again standard when you get that pop top all right and so, as we walk by yeah. the ram 3500 pro master chassis let's let's talk about that momentarily yeah. so this particular chassis once again you know we're we're sticking with that window van look yeah um on this on this darker van it makes it look a lot sleeker on the silver van what that we'll see up here it also yeah. it and that's one of the things i mean if you look at all yeah. of the uh vans back there ready to be built we get the window van, so it's not like we're cutting into the steel and into the exactly. structure. I mean, it, that's that's how we're buying them. You know, we'll even see some people, they'll say, you know what, we love that window van yeah. look, but, you know, like I said, those windows are, are a lot of engineering, yeah. you know, went into that and it kind of a kind of a collaboration. So a lot of people are just kind of scared to do that. It's a lot easier to just to cut a hole in the side, yeah. put a porthole in and call it good. Um, but and then the, I've even seen some people, they'll paint it black. Um, to, to look like a window van yeah. from a distance. Yeah. Yeah, I've had that happen. I've been to a show. I'm like, oh, they're also doing window vans. Nope. Um, so a solid chassis. It performs well. It's got some pep. It's got enough. Uh, it's mm -hmm. got some ponies under the hood to get up and going if you got something hooked to that 5,000 pound hitch. Oh, yeah. 260, or it's a 260 foot pounds of torque, 280 <laughs> horsepower. Nice. Um, it is a front wheel drive chassis. Uh, you know, I've driven it a lot on the highway. Mm -hmm. I know you guys have a lot of wheel time yeah. as well. In my opinion, it's one of the, the nicest driving yeah. motorhomes we, we produce just because at the end of the day, it's, it's like driving a big van. Yeah, it's quiet, so, it yep. handles well, uh, it accelerates uh, mm -hmm. well. And now this is the uh, LT, which again is just a little a little bonus feature here that yeah, we yeah. weren't. We, I, I, I told Mitch, I said, you know what, I know it's freezing and, and we don't have the AT. We'll save the LT when we're in Tampa, we'll do a, we'll a walkthrough. But while we have you here, and this is the, the big reveal, let's just Let's just take a few minutes and show you what it's all about. Yeah, why would we want to do it while it's warm in Tampa? No, we want to stand um, out here where it's cold. We're, we're getting run over by semis. So once again, we're yeah. using the same uh, Dodge Ram 3500 platform that we're using on the AT. Mm -hmm. um, and But it, since it is a Talaro, it's going to have that same Talaro interior. Mm -hmm. Um, a little bit lighter, a little bit, uh, you know, like I said, higher end. You know, and um, this is uh, in this floor plan, and this goes out to uh, Ryan. He says we're interested in using for a mobile office, do you have a good floor plan that is more set up for seating and working? Well, this this could work out for you, Ryan, if you're mm -hmm. looking for a B van because you have, you can start back there because there's couches and tables <laughs> oh, yeah. and this flips around. If you notice, we actually have a laptop yeah. on the flip up table. Um, that's what we're using to to get to you guys right now. Yeah, our little booster there. Down below. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it, it's great. So that pops up. Um, mm -hmm. If you want to, you can actually put two different tables on pedestals. I want you don't need to turn. I'll show, show it here in a little bit. It's funny we got we got Tom over Moving here. 
I'm glad it worked out this morning. Uh, but these pop up. This is a great seating area. One of the cool parts about having a window van mm -hmm. is while you're seating right, while you're seated right here, while you're working, mm -hmm. if you're parked next to, oh, I don't know, do people ever take RVs in national parks or anything like that? Yeah, you know, have beautiful well, I, views I've next heard to a tell, lake. But maybe, I have to, maybe. I have to look that you, up. You can actually look out your window yeah. here because that's what you want to travel for is the views. Right. Um, you know, one other thing, not to not to keep hitting on the window van. No, but um, <laughs> one, one of my one of my personal favorite things about it is the drivability. Right. Um, when you're si seated in the driver's seat, mm -hmm. you just look over your shoulder, and you, you there's really no blind spots. Right. Okay. So it, it, unlike a, a kind of a traditional van where you know this would all be paneled off, you can actually see what's going on around you. You know, and while you're talking about traveling, uh, a couple of differences, at least in these floor plans, is yeah. in this you have your driver's seat, and your two seat belts there, but in the AT you had that seat behind that had the uh, three-point seat yep. belts. So. Yep, it had three-point seat belts in that AT. Um, you know, that's great if you need to put a, a right. car seat in. Um, you know, I, I think if uh, me and my family go out, we'll, we'll borrow right. that coach uh, yeah. so, we can, so we can put in the car seats for the kids. Um, and then on here, you actually have two seat belts that are lap belts inside this couch right mm -hmm. here. So you can take these cushions, flip them around right here, and that's something that you can lean okay. on. Okay. So, and then this is actually a pretty comfortable spot while you're driving. You're going to be seated directly across from the mm -hmm. TV if you need to plug anybody right. in. Um, otherwise, you can look out, like I said, some of the beautiful windows. But once again, since this is a Tolaro, you're going to see we still have those nightshades yeah. right there, um, <coughs> along with uh, uh, opening windows right yep. there. Yeah, there. Yep. You have your two burner gas cooked up. Now, remember, yep. when you put this down, if you have this, you oh. don't just pull it. You have to lift it up. it up a little, lift it up a little bit, a little safety hinge there. So yep. just make sure you're doing that so you don't snap it. That then, way it doesn't close while you're blame Mitch. It's not Mitch's fault. Mitch said we could do it. You know, yeah. and, and as far as, you know, when we're talking about yeah. the chassis here, there's one thing I always like to point out. Right. It's this map holder that we have up yeah. front. A lot of manufacturers aren't going to option that in. But once again, in a B-Van, storage is, is crucial. Right. Um, you know, where, where do you put all your maps and, and you know, your, your yeah. go-to items? You know, I, you can toss your passports up there if you're crossing, yeah. you know, into Canada yeah. or, or Mexico mm -hmm. or anything like that. But a lot of people get rid of that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of a cost savings measure. Yeah, here we want to have the best kind of driving experience that you can. And just the little touches that you put in. You have the L LED light strip up here. You mm -hmm. have the fantastic fan. I mean, just little, little nuggets. Oh yeah. Um, you know, and it's not just that. You know, we'll we'll stick, you know, outlets underneath right. here, USB ports. You know, kind of every place that we can. Um, you know, give the customers that uh, that kind of feeling of you know you're not scrambling for right. chargers. You know, we stick them up here. So if you want to, you can put all your tablets, all your phones, and, and everything. Um, <coughs> but yeah, like I said, this is going to be uh, the LT brand new yeah. interior. Uh, I have a wet I, bath in the back. Yeah. I can show you that real quick. Here, I'll pop this door open. Oh. Now, one of the questions we get, Mitch, with uh, this particular floor plan, because the wet bath is in the back and there are windows back there. Yeah. Do you, are there shades for the window? <laughs> the easiest thing that you can do is close your curtains. Yep. Okay. Um, this is what I always recommend. Just because it's always there, it's always hanging, and this... Oh. You'll notice that there's magnets underneath mm -hmm. here, and that's actually what's kind of sticking right now. Okay. Um, they're actually sewn into the fabric, okay. and then that is going to zip all the way around. around. So not only is it a shower curtain, it's a nice little privacy, privacy curtain for the, rear, for the rear of your coach. So we can pop that back around in here. Swing around packs with yep. features. Um, you also have your wet baths or your, uh, your drop-down sink right here. Mm -hmm. uh, if you guys remember, like I said on the AT, we actually shortened it on that one. But here you have plenty of room so you can... can right. Do everything you need to you in here. Your medicine cabinet. You have yep. your uh, large, back large there. wardrobe yeah. in back. Once again, when it comes to storage on on a on a B van, right. you know you, you can never have enough. Right. So here we actually, that's going to be a large hanging storage. And you don't have to worry. The way that you have these designed, they'll be closed. Yep. Make sure they're closed and your shower's on. Your stuff isn't going to get drenched. Yep. And your curtain once Goes again right covers right. covers yep. all the stuff. You know, little little things. You know, we we actually put added little pads to mm -hmm. these doors you know that way they don't make any right. noises that's not something that that comes to the that comes to us like that right. we actually kind of go above and beyond um, <coughs> on the back here we do have our Thule ladder um, once again Thule ladder race champ from Fontana 2019 <laughs> I'm you. coming up with something <laughs> new for Tampa Mitch I'm coming up with something new I think I maybe it's else. who can pop the top and put the ladder up the fastest <laughs> I can do that yeah, yeah, probably, um, yeah. all right so uh, another thing Tom yeah, please hand. yeah, yeah. There we, there we go. Don't want another uh, open house incident. All right, another thing is you'll notice that these come standard with backup cameras. Right. You know, and, and one of the coolest parts is you know some some uh, motorhomes, the backup camera won't operate if, unless you have your battery disconnect right. on. 
Um, and this particular coach is wired to the chassis battery because it comes from Dodge just mm -hmm. like this. So you don't have to have the rear of your coach on, you know, draining those batteries in order to, to be able to see why you're backing up. So if you're just quick mm -hmm. jumping in, just moving your coach around, uh, you know, your own property or, or anything like that, you don't have to get it all fired up just to use your rear camera. The other thing we have going on back here is two more outlets, yep. a 12 volt, you have a water pump, water spray and, port, and then your that's your exterior spray port. Once again, my favorite thing about having this right here is that instead of on the other side of the right. coat or on the on the opposite side of the coach here, is if you do have a dog or a kid or even yourself that's sandy from being at the yeah. beach, buddy, you can spray down back here, hop right into the then, shower, and then jump right into the yeah. shower. So get all the big stuff off on here and, and do the final cleanup in here. You have your power cord. This is where it's going to be stored on each one, and then we also do provide your spray hose your as coily well. hose yep your coily hose and Tolaro's are shipping now and they are on dealers lots correct or heading that Close. way headed that way they are heading so. that way and you can find a Tolaro dealer near you by heading to thormotorcoach.com and type in your zip code you can mm -hmm. always call our coach link uh, sales advisors they will help you out but Tolaro's fantastic product and thank you very much to you for uh, helping helping Mitch and his guys mm -hmm. uh, and gals redesign it and make it what you want absolutely we love customer yeah. feedback you know when it when we started the whole van project you know years yeah. more than a year ago you know the first thing we did was was market surveys right you know we asked over 300 people hey what do you like about your coach specifically right. on the dodge promaster platform yeah what do you what, like what do you like from a floor plan standpoint mm -hmm. uh, and, and this is how we determined to build these floor plans exactly so you know what's what's important you know so mm -hmm. we can go into it with fresh designs we're working right. on new floor plans all the time um, you know, looking at it from a, you know, people love storage, right. people love, you know, the lithium yeah. package. So we got to have this, we got to yeah. have this. So uh, people love cassette toilets too. Yeah. <laughs> so we got a lot of great features and the, if you would like to see these and you're heading down, hi girls, how are you? If you guys want to see the mastermind behind the new Tolaro, uh, we, <laughs> right, right there, that's Kathy. They are, they're our design team who help. You're good. You can keep going that way. And it's, we're, Tom's pointing this way. It's good. Very good. All right, but they're the masterminds behind who, uh, you want to look in there? You can. We'll shoot this way. Okay. Okay. But we'll just, we, we promise. Okay. They just heard that this got rolled off the line. Like I said, this is yeah. truly a live shot yeah. that rolled off the line. So now we have the design team looking at yep. it. Like Product development's sure already right. gone through yeah. it, making so, sure it's correct. <laughs> and they, these two are actually, after we are done here, they are going to be shipping off to Tampa. Yep. So if you were going to be heading out to the Tampa show, come find us, take a look. Take a look around the Tolaro. Find Mitch, she can answer all of your questions for you when it comes to uh, Tolaro, even our other B-Van, the sequence. This, mm -hmm. is, this is his little brainchild up in there. So uh, come and see Mitch. And one of the things we talked about was the 5,000 pound hitch. And if you have questions about towing, and we just finished the video on weights, towing capacity, how to properly load and tow with your motorhome, that is coming out in January, uh, a couple weeks now. So be watching for that, which if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, and you're watching on Facebook, go over to our YouTube channel, there's a little bell, click the bell. Have you clicked our bell on our YouTube channel? Absolutely. Okay. I gotta see the videos All right. myself. All right. Yeah, because you're in. I got another <laughs> idea that uh, is gonna require help. But uh, subscribe to all of our channels. We got a lot of great videos coming your way on the B van specifically. Uh, the Truma system will walk through of every single feature of that. Mm -hmm. uh, the Rapid Camp Plus BM Pro system, we show you how to use that when we get to uh, the lithium ion. When we get one of those, I'm going to show people how to use that. It's mm -hmm. really, that's one of those where it kind of keep it from the factory, but I'm going to show you what everything mm -hmm. means and in, in, in what it does. So that's coming your way soon. Mm -hmm. So we will see you in Tampa. It's going to be a little bit warmer. We won't be wearing the big coats. Multiple coats. <laughs> no, we'll be wearing his board shorts and a tank. Probably not. No, well, you can if you want to. So. Stay tuned. we got a lot of great stuff coming to you in Tampa. That show is happening January 15th. Uh, we fly out. We'll be live on the 16th. So we will see you then. Thanks for watching. You have a great day. Remember, like and subscribe to Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, all of our channels. And we will see you next time on one of the great Thor Motor Coach media channels. Have a great day, everybody.